Singapore is one of the smallest countries in the world, with only 734 square kilometers of land, about half the size of London, where every square meter is carefully planned and maximized. Now, this tiny island nation has managed to expand its territory by building new land in the ocean, not with sand or steel, but with massive hollow concrete boxes, each the size of a 10-story building and weighing 13,000 tons, more than 2,000 elephants combined. These colossal structures form the foundations of one of the world's most ambitious maritime projects, the Tuas Megaport. But why is Singapore going to such extraordinary lengths? And how are these giant concrete boxes helping solve the country's biggest challenges, from limited space to rising competition in global trade? Let's find out. Singapore sits at the heart of one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, the Strait of Malacca. Spanning 900 kilometers between Sumatra and the Malay Peninsula, this narrow passage connects the Indian and Pacific Oceans, serving as a lifeline for global trade. Approximately 94,000 ships navigate these waters annually, carrying nearly 30% of the world's traded goods, including 16 million barrels of oil per day, making it the second largest oil choke point globally after the Strait of Hormuz. Singapore's ports, responsible for handling over 7% of the nation's GDP, have long been a cornerstone of its economy. But with shipping volumes expected to grow and neighboring ports like Malaysia's Port Klang and China's Yangshan port expanding rapidly, Singapore faces mounting pressure to maintain its competitive edge. Yet competition isn't the only challenge. Rising sea levels and a lack of available land space pose significant risks to Singapore's maritime ambitions. To address these challenges and secure its position as a global trade leader, Singapore is consolidating its existing port operations into a single, state-of-the-art facility, the Tuas Megaport. This $20 billion project is designed to handle the world's largest container ships, boost container handling to 65 million containers annually, and modernize operations with automation and smart technology. Elevated five meters above sea level as a precaution against rising tides, the port also incorporates sustainability measures like green energy and efficient waste management, ensuring that it's not just massive, but forward thinking. Announced in 2012 and set to fully open by the 2040s, the port will transform Singapore into the world's largest fully automated container terminal. Spread across four phases, Phase 1 officially began in February 2015 and was completed in November 2021, with operations starting in December of that year. This phase reclaimed 294 hectares of land and constructed an 8.6-kilometer seawall using 221 massive concrete boxes. Phase 1 also included 21 deep-water berths capable of handling 20 million containers annually each equivalent to a 20-foot-long shipping container. Deepwater berths are like parking spaces for massive container ships, but instead of a parking lot, they're built in deeper waters. Just as a large truck needs extra room to park and unload safely, these berths provide the depth and space needed for the world's largest ships to dock close to the port. Phase 2, which began in March 2018, is currently ongoing. By April 2022, the fabrication of an additional 227 giant concrete boxes had been completed, creating a 9.1-kilometer seawall with the giant boxes standing 30 meters tall, nearly the height of a 10-story building. This phase also involves reclaiming 387 hectares of land and deepening the port basin and access channels to accommodate the world's largest container ships. Planning for Phase 3 is already underway, though specific details remain scarce. The final phase, Phase 4, will complete the consolidation of all port operations, with full integration expected by the 2040s. When all phases are complete, the Tuas Megaport will feature 26 kilometers of deep water berths, equipped to handle the largest ships in the world. Vessels over 450 meters long or roughly the size of four football fields. But Tuas isn't just big, it's smart. 
With fully digitalized operations, the port will use artificial intelligence and machine learning to manage vessel traffic, along with driverless automated guided vehicles, AGVs, to move cargo seamlessly. A private 5G network will connect the entire facility, enabling 24-7 operations, even in complete darkness. Indeed, the Tours Megaport is a masterpiece of engineering, but its success depends on a simple yet ingenious element, giant concrete boxes known as caissons. These massive hollow structures are made from reinforced concrete and play two key roles. They act like the roots of a tree, anchoring the port securely to the seabed, and like the walls of a giant sandbox, holding back the earth to create stable land. Each caisson measures 40 meters long, 20 meters wide, and 29 meters tall, roughly the size of a 10-story building. Once placed in the ocean, these caissons are filled with 17,000 cubic meters of sand, allowing them to form a stable base that extends Singapore's coastline. Without these structures, building the tourist megaport in open waters would have been impossible. But the caissons aren't just about stability, they're about speed. That's because traditional piling methods, which involve drilling deep into the seabed and driving long poles or piles into the ground, are like planting individual stakes one by one. It's effective, but time-consuming. In contrast, using caissons is like laying down massive building blocks in one go. This approach is not only faster, but also creates a solid foundation that can support the immense scale of the port. But how do you install such enormous structures in the ocean? Installing these massive caissons is no small feat. It's a highly engineered process that starts at the ocean floor. First, the seabed needs to be prepared, and that's where a colossal machine called a mega dredger comes in. Imagine a giant mechanical scoop capable of lifting 200 cubic meters of earth in a single bite. This mega dredger digs a precise trench in the seabed, creating the perfect space for the caissons to rest. Once the trench is ready, the real work begins. A specialized vessel called Tamarok takes over, using advanced equipment to carefully fill the trench with sand. But it's not as simple as pouring sand into a hole. To make the base solid, Tamarok uses a tamping arm, a tool designed to compact the sand with precision. This step ensures the sand won't shift or sink under the weight of the caissons. With the sand firmly in place, layers of rock are added on top to create an even stronger foundation. Think of it as adding solid layers to a cake. Each one makes the structure more stable. Finally, a smaller layer of rock is meticulously leveled to create a perfectly smooth surface for the caissons to sit on. What makes Temerok so impressive is how it combines multiple steps into one efficient system. Traditionally, this process would require several ships and divers to handle tasks like layering rocks, compacting sand and conducting surveys. Temerok does it all, automating the process and improving precision in half the time. Installation of these giant concrete boxes is just one piece of a much bigger picture. Behind every case and placed lies a project of staggering scale, one that's reshaping Singapore's economy and coastline. Let's talk about the massive economic, territorial and industrial impact of the tourist megaport. Singapore currently ranks as the second busiest port in the world, just behind Shanghai. While Shanghai handles 50 million containers annually, Singapore isn't far behind with a record high throughput of 39 million in 2023. For comparison, the busiest port in the US, the Port of Los Angeles, handled around 10 million in the same period, just a fraction of what Singapore achieves. The tourist megaport is designed to elevate Singapore's position even further. By the time it's complete, Tours will increase Singapore's container handling capacity to 65 million containers annually, surpassing Shanghai and solidifying its role as a critical midway point for global trade routes between Asia, Europe and the US. With 24-hour dwell times, compared to the nine-day delays seen at major US ports, Singapore continues to set the gold standard for efficiency in maritime logistics. The economic impact of tourists goes beyond shipping. 
Singapore's maritime industry already employs 170,000 people and contributes 7% to the nation's GDP. With TUIS, thousands of new jobs will be created, not just in traditional maritime roles, but in advanced fields like data analytics and automation. By the time it's complete, TUIS Megaport will reclaim 1,337 hectares of land. That's the size of over 3,300 football fields. Phase 1 alone covered 414 hectares and cost approximately $1.79 billion to build, setting the stage for the port's future expansion. Over 50% of the film materials used for land reclamation are recycled, saving Singapore more than $1.49 billion in material costs. The port's fleet of electric automated guided vehicles will cut carbon emissions by 25%, and the consolidation of older port terminals into a single facility will significantly reduce interterminal haulage and greenhouse gas emissions. TUIS has already made strides in marine conservation. A coral relocation program successfully moved 2,300 coral colonies to safer waters, achieving an impressive survival rate of over 80%. With a $4.47 million investment in this initiative, Singapore has shown that progress and preservation can go hand in hand. With its ability to integrate sea and air freight, provide faster and cheaper port services, and act as a catch-up port for delayed shipments, TUIS ensures Singapore remains at the forefront of global trade while setting a new standard for maritime excellence. In its core, the TUIS megaport is built on more than just ambition. It's literally built on massive, hollow concrete boxes. They're the foundation of a project that's reshaping Singapore's coastline, economy and global standing. Without them, none of this would be possible. But the potential for these structures goes far beyond ports. Concrete caissons have already been used in bridge abutments, underwater foundations and breakwater construction. Looking ahead, innovations like smart caissons with built-in sensors or their use in submerged floating tunnels could revolutionize coastal engineering and mega projects around the world. What do you think? Could these massive concrete boxes unlock the future of sea tunnels, bridges, or even smarter coastal protection systems? Or are there better alternatives for these kinds of challenges? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed exploring this mega build story, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to uncover more incredible feats of engineering shaping our world.